Hello, I'm Flicka and welcome back to our second channel video. Today I wanted to give a little bit of travel advice that I'm going to discover for myself at the same time because nobody really knows what makes a great hotel or a bad hotel. When you're booking online and you see 100 hotels, you don't really know much about each hotel besides the pictures, besides the price, and besides the review score, and it's really hard to work out which of these are good and which of these are bad. So taking the same city into account, because $50, 200 500 can be wildly different all around the world, let's see exactly what a $50 hotel that's well rated and a $200 hotel that's well rated will get you in Calgary, Canada. In it's Calgary, Alberta, Canada, if you're curious. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing this myself. I generally don't know. Maybe the $50 one's better, but let's go to the Centrum Motel right now, because if you look it up online, um, it, it, again, I, I decided to go for the very cheapest one that had any decent reviews, and the most expensive one that had decent reviews too. You can see online right now that added up to about, uh, you know, you'll see the conversions about $50 and about $200. So one of these is four times more expensive than the other, but is it worth the four times in cost? Let's go find out. So this is the Centro Motel, which as you can tell, is Calgary's boutique motel apparently. It's located just over here next to a road because it is a motel, which if you're not familiar with America, means that the rooms face directly onto the road or street in some form. So let's go up to one of our rooms and let's go see what it actually looks like on the inside though. So this is what it looks like on the inside and actually it looks like a really nice hotel room, right? Like maybe this is the exception rather than the rule of motels. Uh, but I've never stayed in a motel that was particularly uh, awful looking on the inside. I think the only downside is like, I guess your your view is off a road or off a parking lot or something. So as far as the view goes, it's obviously not great. But as far as the actual, this looks like a comfortable bed goes, that's, that's pretty solid. As far as the actual, uh, you know, where you, uh, I don't know, wash your hands and presumably uh, make do the things that makes you need to wash your hands. That all seems pretty good. Oh wait, we can just turn on lights That's the wonderful thing about this. Uh, it seems pretty good to me. It's a bizarre. <laughs> wait, what even is this? It's like clearly a bathtub. That's also a shower. Oh, this is very strange But yeah, so the inside of this hotel room, I would say uh, just giving it a, a brief rundown Like we got storage. We got a good bed. We got a bathroom that I could feel comfortable ish in Oh, the, the width of it's like smaller than an airplane bathroom. So like I'm sure there's some size of American slash Canadian person that does not like this, uh, but it even has its own little coffee maker. So yeah, everything you'd expect in a really nice hotel, but for 50 US a night, or I think it was 37 pounds, pretty solid deal. And you even get free entertainment with a police gun pass. So yeah, a solid enough place, has all the basics, but how does it compare to the 200, again, US dollars to clarify, not Canadian. Uh, it's a lot more in Canadian, I imagine, uh, dollar hotel. Oh wait, one more thing, we got a, we got a fridge. Oh, it's empty. That's nice. So they're not even trying to upsell you on anything. It's just, you pay your $50, now you can stay in the room for a night. But how does that compare to a place where you pay $200 and you stay in the room for a night? So knowing that even the cheap hotel in this particular comparison was pretty great, I was really excited to check out the second one, knowing that it was supposedly going to be four times better, or at least the dollar cost would imply that. And uh, needless to say, I was not disappointed. So this is the room at the Hotel Le Germain, which is a nice enough hotel by itself. And then this is the upgraded room to make it the 200 versus $50 comparison. And you can see looking around this thing like, holy jeez, <laughs> this is like too much for uh, like any use I can make fit. So first of all, we gotta go do the, the same comparison. The view seems to be, I mean, I'm not sure how to open these things precisely. Uh, this view seems to be over like downtown and then there's an office over there so you can watch people work, which is great. Maybe I'm not allowed to record that, but whatever. Uh, then we've got just over here, as you can see, a nice view of, I think, the south of downtown Calgary. Then we've got a big TV built onto the wall right here. We've got a little bit of a weird cubby hole, but, oh, it's a closet, but it's a, it's like a secret closet. I kind of like that, actually. Then we've got the bathroom, which is just over here. Uh, again, this is my first time, so I'm, I'm going to work out what we're going, what we've got as we're going along. A two-pronged shower thing with like, uh, you know, like the rain falling thing at the top, and then a regular one if you want to, I don't know, shower the your, your your feet or something really hard, or you know, anything else that's on the bottom half of your body. Then we've got a nice mirror with thing like I don't know, it's got lights on the side. That's that's pretty cool. We've got. Uh, this sink, which is just absurd. Like, let's be honest here, right? This is too much. This sink is not okay. Like, what? What is this? What am I? What? Why? Why? Why is it so long this way? What am I meant to do over here? Am I meant to just, you know, actually, I need to try this out now. I mean, I'm sure it does work that way, but like, you you can pour stuff and it goes down and it's nice, but like, 
Why is the ta- you know, there's just so many questions. Why is this need to be a thing? I don't know, but it's a cool tack, though. I kind of like the whole, like, you know, it's got two separate levers. I think that's handy. I think it's useful. Then we've got a couple of plug sockets, which are allowed in the bathroom in America, which is uh, in North America, I should say, uh, which is a bit of a wacky one. Then we've got, uh, it seems like a lamp here. Oh, no, what, what is this? I think it is a lamp. Yeah, I think we turn that on. Ooh, <laughs> it is a lamp. So you don't have to uh, do your business in the dark, which is nice. There's a phone on the toilet in case you get lonely, which is always useful. I assume it's actually, actually maybe, it, maybe this is like a disabled room toilet, although that's actually quite a small one. Maybe it's for ordering room service, because you're like, you know, I want to use both, both ends of my digestive system at the same time. Let's, let's get that going. Maybe, question mark. Uh, something I even missed was this sofa thing right here, which I actually really like. It's a ridiculous design, but you could lay on it if you wanted to. Not that you'd need to because there's a bed there, but like, yeah, long story short, this is, this is pretty absurd, actually. This, <laughs> like, I, I didn't figure there'd be too many upgrades to, like, you know, like a, a fairly nice place already, but apparently I was wrong. You got these lamps as well that do their whole own thing. You got a bunch of buttons here. Ambul- no ambulance? Oh, ambiance. <laughs> See, this is, this is why I, I, you gotta read things twice before you say them out loud. Uh, so yeah, this in, in general, this is a super nice hotel. I can't get over just how many nice different things there is going on here. We've even got like a little private bar, but then it's not really private because like it's all up charges of like $12 for a Crown Royale. I don't know how much one of those should cost, but probably not that much, right? Then we got, I assume, a fridge just over here with a key in. Oh, oh, I took the key out. Is this, oh no, it's a safe. You take this, this, this. <laughs> I guess that makes more sense than a fridge with a key. Uh, so we'll just put this up there for now. I don't know, like, oh gosh, we don't want to lose that. Yeah, let's just, whatever. There's there's the key to the safe. Um, there actually isn't a fridge. Although there's a, there's a private bar option, which makes me assume that there is somewhere and I've just missed it. So let's go find the private fridge, I guess. Are you in here? No, that's an iron, which is pretty cool actually. Uh, yeah, no, there, there is a fridge somewhere in this room. In fact, maybe that is, maybe the, maybe it is a fridge with a key. We have to let, we have to find out now. Uh, so the fridge doesn't open until. It is a fridge with a key. I might, you know, <laughs> I, everyone was going to make fun of me for thinking that that's what that safe was a fridge with a key, but it is. Just a fridge with a key, and I'm assuming it's all weight-sensored, so I'm not going to touch anything, or it's going to automatically buy it. But still, it's really cool just to be able to, like, instantly buy a lot of stuff like this, and if, if that's your thing. It's not my thing, because it's all absurdly priced. Then we've got some gum, if you need it, which... Again, that's actually something that's super thoughtful. Again, if this was not a paid service, if this was not trying to get free $4 out of me, that'd be super cool of them. But, I mean, sadly, that's what that is, so let's not. Uh, we got a little teacup thing, we got a little coffee machine. We got a lot of, a radio I think this is. There's a lot of features to this room if we're being entirely honest. Let's, let's see what this is. Well, I said something. Oh, it's probably like a timer so you can fall asleep to the radio. Yeah, everything's, everything's a bit weird in here. Everything's a bit bizarre. But in general, super nice five-star hotel. And uh, it costs $200. So now the comparison comes, which I'll do after my stay tonight, uh, as to whether this, is worth four times the money and where the value comes and goes or whatever. Oh, there's a little secret thing here with two more slots. Uh, so that's something we're going to try and work out. And uh, yeah, so to, to go over the key basics though, floor area, it's larger. It's a larger room. Uh, it's in a you know more enclosed place and it's nicer aesthetically speaking. But I'll let you know how my stay goes and I'll give you the update. Oh, funny story, the taxi driver from the year was like, so you're going from this hotel to that hotel. <laughs> he was he was properly, uh, he was floored by the logic, uh, which I thought was kind of funny. Anyway, I probably should have turned on some more lights for this. Oh, there aren't more lights. Quick thing, this annoys me about American hotel rooms. Like, lights seem to be a thing that just go missing, like, there's, all, there's ones all along the sides, but... You know, whatever, I'm complaining, I'm confused, this is good. See you in a day or so.
So yeah, needless to say, I was amazed by this hotel uh, and all the different like faucets of it. It was in a really central location, literally next to the Calgary Tower, literally next to uh, a bunch of really nice steakhouses. It was in a really good part of town, with the only downside being it wasn't connected to Calgary's uh, you know plus 15 network, but it was one block away as opposed to being uh, all of the distance that the other one was. And the kind of end conclusion of this particular comparison, because although I could make generalizations, and I'd love to definitely do that, uh, in this particular comparison, the only real difference besides it's like it was extra fancy and like there were nice little bonuses I uh, would really be the big distance from the center What you're really paying for with the center, you know The most central hotel you could imagine is uh, the fact that you're next to everything you want to be There was a museum across the street uh, one of the famous ones in Canada uh, Learned a bunch about Western Canadian history But like you know having all of that next to you as opposed to having to get on I, I think it was a 35 minute bus into Calgary from the motel uh, Really is gonna add up even if you take a 15 minute uber that's ten dollars each time and that's gonna add up and basically yeah really what it comes down to the biggest difference for me was the location when you spend more in a hotel uh, assuming they're not both located in the same place usually the one that costs more is gonna be a better district at least for tourists or whatever and uh, that's something I kind of spotted here I noticed that the more centrally located hotel was just so wonderful for everything I wanted to do I had a really good time in there and I would say that overall the value ratio is always gonna be dependent on what you need because if uh, you know the stretch of a $50 motel is already quite a lot then you won't get four times more for a big hotel if you're if going somewhere alone is the big exciting thing and I would describe that for about like 90% of my travel is still the big thing like hey I'm in a new place this is exciting then honestly your resting place isn't the biggest of deal as long as it meets your minimum standards like if it's a awful messy place and you don't feel hygienic you know like if it doesn't meet your basic you know standards and your hierarchy of needs that's not good but if it's just a good standard clean place that has some central access then spending more just to get the premium luxuries it's nice it's just it's not great value for money. It's not worth four times more to go uh, for this thing, but I think the real lesson here is that, you know, both extremes are pretty crazy. Both extremes seem to be good in this case, and therefore, as long as you book a, you know, place that you think is good on some level, you're probably going to have a good time. People spend a lot of time. I've seen people stress so much over which hotel. As long as you find one which meets, like, a few different standards and just kind of hit the OK button, it's probably going to be fine, and if you want to do that, then this video is a great opportunity for me to tell you about Hotels.com. This isn't sponsored or anything, uh, uh, but I do earn an affiliate credit, some tiny percent, off you if you decide to make a booking at the link down below. I use Hotels.com because it's the only hotel loyalty program that allows you to stay at any hotel chain you want. Like, it's really great, good if you pick uh, just the Hiltons or just the Hyatts or just any particular hotel chain, but then you have to stay at the one hotel that that, that chain has in your city. Whereas if you stay at Hotels.com, I had something like 100 choices for Calgary. Some cities have thousands or even sometimes tens of thousands of choices, and it's cool to just have those because then when you have your particular criteria, like I want to be somewhere in the central district with the things I want to see. I want to have it be not like, you know, terrible, or, you know, like above four stars or above 8.5 or above whatever your particular criteria is. I love Hotels.com for that. And this video is kind of uh, helpful uh, for me at least to realize like, you know, sometimes in some cities you can really stay anywhere and you'll have a good time. And uh, yeah, maybe let me know in the comments down below if you think you'd like to see another one of these fun comparisons of like $50 versus $200. Because at least in my head, maybe I'm just staying at cheap places. That is like the perfect, uh, you know, range of like the very cheapest on the uh, low end of acceptable versus the very most expensive. In different cities, it's going to be wildly different. In London, if you spend $50, you're going to get a terrible place that's going to make you wish you weren't alive or it's going to be crazy far out the center. But uh, yeah, let me know if you'd like to see these comparisons in other cities because a lot of times when I am staying somewhere for as long as a week, I like to switch it up between different hotels or different cities because I'm trying to learn the best I can so I can give the tips to you the best I can. And I hope you do all appreciate that. If you did, then let me know with... Uh, Comment down below, uh, you know, say something positive because you know how YouTube comments uh, tend to be super negative sometimes. And if you didn't like the video, then guess what? Second channel, don't care. Goodbye.